As the eruption threat looms at the world's largest active volcano, Hawaiian officials hold more community meetings. And just days after the community meetings, a new area of threat on the northwest flank of Mauna Loa. Now the alert level has not been raised. This is the most recent update, and let's just walk through it. The alert level advisory is code yellow. Mauna Loa is not erupting, and there are no signs of an imminent eruption at this time. Monitoring data, however, also show no significant changes in 24 hours. Mauna Loa continues to be in a state of heightened unrest, as indicated by increased earthquake activity and continued inf inflation at the summit. The current unrest is most likely being driven by renewed input of magma two to five miles beneath Mauna Loa's summit. And until this gets up near the one kilometer depth, there is no worry for a fissure eruption. Now, observations during the past 24 hours. HVO detected 44 small magnitude below three earthquakes, two to three miles below Makue Weoweo Caldera, and four to five miles beneath the upper elevation of the northwest flank of Mauna Loa. That's good news because this uptick currently is in the northwest flank. This magma is at depth. And this is a region that has historically erupted. Now, a magnitude 3.6 earthquake also occurred northwest of the summit, which is in that cluster zone. So what's going on here? Well, increased activity, and we may have evidence now of a flank fissure instead of a caldera eruption. The last eruption, here, let's look at the chart. The last eruption was in 1984. There's only been two eruptions, one in the 70s and the 80s since the 50s. And then some more recent earth uh, eruptions. But back during the Dalton minimum, this baby was going off a lot, pretty regularly. So we're at one of the longest times between eruptions, which probably means a new eruption is coming soon. Now, the most recent eruption is 1984. It was in three parts. In March 25th, for a few hours, the caldera erupted. Then March 25th to the 26th, there was a flank eruption. That's all the extent. And then from the 25th, this is for 25 days, an eruption moved down slope towards Hilo, but never made it. Will this eruption make it? Well, in historic times, this area has caught in the northwest quadrant here has caused flank eruptions to make it towards Kiholo Bay. Back in 1859, it made it all the way there in just eight days. And this map shows us where any of these regions of eruption will, so it needs to be a little bit to the east of where the current earthquake activity is happening right here. If it starts happening east of the caldera, then there is a threat to Hilo. But currently the threat is to Kiholo Bay, Kiholo Bay where back in 1859, a fissure opened up here, and in just eight days, the lava made it to the bay. So it appears as if the current cluster and warning is for a flank eruption going to Kila, Kihila Bay, which is, where, where is that? One of these bays. <laughs> Kila Hilo. Kiholo Bay. And that is all the way over here. Wow, so this lava made it all the way down to there in eight days from a fissure in the northwest quadrant of Mauna Loa. So that is the current state of the volcano. We want to give you a quick update on some historical settings and the fact that there is a seismic swarm now happening off in this area in North Kona, where lava flows from this region of Mauna Loa can reach populated areas in days to weeks. And back in 1859, it made it all the way to Kiholo Bay. And Kiholo Bay on this map is this bay right there. Oh, let me see if we can shrink it down. And so that is quite a distance to cover in just eight days. So we're keeping a close eye on Mauna Loa for you as a new seismic swarm is increasing. And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. Share this with like-minded people. If you're on the big island, tune in for updates. Subscribe if you haven't. Become a Patreon and support our work. We love you.